Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about five reasons why you should never disenchant your Hearthstone cards, at least the ones that aren't extras on top of the two maximum you can have for each card, or the one legendary that you can have for each legendary uh, card. So, the first reason is that no matter how many cards you collect, and no matter how old those cards get, you can always play them in wild mode. So, uh, obviously, if you haven't been too new to Hearthstone, you know that there's two formats, Standard and Wild. So if we go over here to All Cards, you can see some of the cards I've collected going back to uh, sets as early as Goblins vs. Gnomes. Uh, obviously, the classic cards are always playable, with a few exceptions. Um, but there are cards here which you can no longer play in Standard format. But that's not such a horrible thing. Yes, Standard is the format that most players are going to choose to focus on, though in the last couple months, it seems like Blizzard has decided to uh, start supporting Wild Mode with a couple small uh, officially supported tournaments. So the cards you collect are going to always have some relevancy at some point down the line. And then in Tavern Brawls, I believe, you can usually use Wild Cards as well. So even if it's a really old card, it's still going to be somewhat useful. So if you have, like, a Magnaros, um, let's start finding, wow, there's a lot of cards that start with that. Uh, Magnaros, the Fire Lord, or Sylvanas Windrunner, uh, two of the old cards no longer playable and standard, but really useful to have if you happen to make a wild deck at any point in time. Okay, so the second reason you shouldn't disenchant cards unless you have to, especially ones that you don't have extras of, is that sometimes cards will get nerfed by Blizzard, and at that point in time, Blizzard will take the dust refund value for disenchanting a card and bump it to the full value of a card. So, this card scaled nightmare here, probably one that's never going to get uh, nerfed down, but if it were to happen, the 100 dust that you would get from disenchanting it would be increased to 400 dust. So, if that ever occurs to any cards in the future, um, you'll kind of regret disenchanting them earlier, where you could have gotten full value for them later. And yeah, if you absolutely need the dust, maybe you can go ahead and disenchant one or two cards. But if you want to play optimally, um, saving cards until you can disenchant at that nerf time may be a better way to go. Okay, so the third reason for why you shouldn't disenchant your cards is that uh, if you do disenchant a card and you'd later decide that you need it, in a deck. For instance, this Gorehow here almost never has anyone created a decent deck that includes two Gorehowls because that is such a high cost card that you can really only afford to put one in your deck. But if you ever needed to craft it again, so you disenchant one because you think you're not going to need it and then later you need it, you're going to have to lose 300 dust in that transaction. So you disenchant it for 100, one fourth of its craft value, and then you recraft it later on at a loss of 300 dust. And for non-golden cards, the ratio of loss to uh, basically what you get back is, uh, I believe, 4 to 8 times. So a legendary will disenchant for 400, but you have to craft it for 1600. And a common will only give you 5 dust, but you have to craft it for 40. So that's a uh, 4 ratio and an 8 ratio. Uh, 1 to 4 and 1 to 8. So reason number four, although a card may initially not be very good because there are no decks that it fits in, uh, for instance, this Doom card, which was released in, uh, I believe it was the Old Gods expansion set, um, certain cards that were previously unplayable may later actually become quite good. Now, what I'm referring to here with Doom didn't actually really make it into super competitive play, uh, because Warlock, Warlock as a uh, class currently is not that competitive. But they added a card called Blood Room, where the next spell you cast, this card, uh, this turn costs health instead of mana, which means you can play Doom for 2 mana plus 10 health, rather than 10 mana, which makes it a lot more playable. And on top of that, uh, at some point they printed this card, the Violet Illusionist, which you can also combo in there, during your turn, this hero, uh, your hero is immune, which means if you use that in conjunction, the Violet Illusionist turns into basically a cycle card for 3 mana and heal 10 health to your hero because it blocks the damage from Doom. 
So by having those cards co combo with the other cards, uh, you take a previously completely unplayable card like Doom, 10 mana for removal, just way too much, and it actually becomes almost good enough. Uh, now in some cases, the cards may actually become good. They may actually become so competitive that you need them later on. So if you disenchant them previously, and this is kind of similar to my last point, um, you're going to regret it later on when you actually need those cards and you have to recraft them. Okay, and my fifth and final point for this video is that if you disenchant cards now, even if they're not that good in the current sets or not good in standard, later on if you ever need them again in wild mode, you will have to craft those cards. And I don't just mean that you could open packs or you could craft them, but you have to get them one way or another. I mean that your only option is to craft those cards, because currently it is impossible to buy old packs that are no longer uh, current and standard. You cannot buy Goblins vs. Gnome packs, you cannot buy the Grand Tournament packs. So that means all the cards in there that you ever want to play in Wild, you would have to craft again, which is extremely expensive. Dust is kind of at a premium, it takes a lot of disenchant card, uh, it, it takes a lot of disenchanted cards in order to actually craft a card. So it's much better if you can get them in the pack and never have to craft them manually. So if you disenchant them now, you'll probably screw yourself at some point later on if you ever need to play those cards again in wild. So obviously the points I've made in this video aren't a conclusive end all that you can never disenchant anything for any reason, but hopefully I've given you some ideas to think about before you go ahead and do that and make a decision that you may regret later. But that's going to be it for this video. I've been Dark Skeleton. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.